Absolutely. Oh, it's debilitating. That comes from insecurity. I have to say one thing. I would have loved to have raised me. I drove my Hungarian mother crazy, and my father, Croatian, there were five of us. But Katica always had, that's Catherine in Croatian, Catherine always had a better way. Where did it come from? I don't know. I just knew that I knew that I knew. And at the age of seven, when I said I didn't want to grow old, I, I got that because all I did was look at old people, but they were only 30 years old. It's a mindset. It is the words that were words that hurt, words that empower. Too many words that hurt. There has to be more empowerment. But before you could empower anyone, you have to be as strong as as a gladiator in belief, knowing that you could change not only your life, but the lives of people around the world by being a role model. So when I got this, did I live? Yeah, I lived. Did I love? Oh, oh, you bet. Did I matter? Yes, yes. And I keep mattering because being an octogenarian, I have my hands, my pulse on people all over the world. They're scared to death, Dr. Gale. They don't know what to do. And when you approached me about regret-free living, life with, without regrets, aha, that was the missing puzzle part because it's habit. They don't even know they're thinking about it because it's habit. It's a way of life. Do you want to change your life? Change your thinking. You I agree everything. totally. I agree with you totally. I, and that brings me to, to why you did this climb, this climb on the presidential towers. Uh, how many – tell us a little bit about that. I mean, how did you get ready for it? Uh, was it difficult for you? How many people did you beat? Was there anybody in your age classification? Tell us a little bit about that. When I had my business, I lived in the Gold Coast in Michigan Avenue in Chicago years ago. I had to go to a building. Oh, by the way, that was not secure at night. Not secure. They didn't have guards at all. And it was on Ontario Street. And Dr. Gale, I would get up at 3.30 in the morning because I started to see clients like at 6 a.m. And I would walk Rush Street. I knew every homeless person in the whole world. <laughs> I would go into this building, dark. The only light was the exit light to the sixth floor, and I would go, oh, geez, I hope no one is there. Now, I'm an exercise guru. I've been exercising all my life. Most people go through an exercise phase. I never outgrew mine. Water ballet, classical ballet. Oh, by the way, I married an iron worker, and they said it wouldn't last. I don't know, 62 years later, mm -hmm. and I could write a book. Well, in fact, I have on the trials and tribulations of growing together. However... I decided that I would start climbing. This is about 35, 40 years ago, the building. And I would open the door into the stairwell, and I'd put a brick there. Now, this is how, how um, clever I was. I'd go out into the stairwell and say, hey, <laughs> if anyone is in the stairwell, would you mind leaving? I have to climb this, and I don't want to be interrupted, and I don't want you to scare me half to death. I would climb 30 flights, then I would come down. And then one day I thought, gee, Kath, what if you heard that door shut? What would you do? I don't know. In the meantime, I heard about the John Hancock climb. This is separate from the presidential climb, but benefiting the American Lung Association. The John Hancock, 94 floors, 1,600 32 stairs. I climbed it 10 times. My best time was 33 minutes and 20 seconds, and I would fundraise for them. Then I got a little bored with that. Now, all of you out there, please check with your doctor. My exercise routine is daunting. I don't want anyone to say, oh, I heard Kathy. I did it, and I nearly had a heart attack. The heart is a muscle, 
And you have to build that muscle. And I work with a heart monitor, and I've had it for years and years and years. I knew how to build it through the help of a chiropractic doctor. However, fast forward, got a little tired of the John Hancock, and I thought, well, why don't you take a climb where it's 50 flights, and instead of climbing four towers, just take the one tower and do it in a better time each year. Because you see, Dr. Gale, as we get older, we're supposed to slow down. Well, you know, it's funny, Kathy, that you're talking about this because I'm a kind of a fitness freak myself. I do two hours of exercise every single day. And uh, people are always looking at me and saying, well, how can you do this? How can you do this? Now, I have had to adjust. My knees are not good, and I've had a uh-huh. lot of surgery. So um, I've had to adjust what I do, but I still do it. And there are people who are at least half my age, and there are many, of course, who do do very well, but there are many people my age, probably half your age, who can't do half of what you do or what I do. And that is the point, that you have to do it every single day, and uh, you, you have to keep up with it. Well, we have about five minutes left, Kathy, so I want to talk a little bit about your book. You've got an ebook, Elixir of Youth, Secrets of a Spring Chicken. Tell us what's in that and... and uh, uh, how people can get it. And, of course, your website is important. Uh, so you've got Kathy with a C-A-T-H-I, Kathy mm-hmm. Watson Speaks dot com. So tell us a little bit about your book. And then it's, it's simply ageless.net. And then at some other point, I want to share with you the mindset that I had for the presidential towers and how I surpassed myself. Okay, By the let's way, do there that was, now because I was, want to make sure we have enough time to get it in. All right, there were 1,700 climbers. On the way to the presidential towers, I'll talk fast. I've been listening to the Sochi, the, um, the Olympiads from Sochi, Russia, and I thought, Kath, at least take five minutes off your time. You know, I'd be happy. In 2013, I did it in 24 minutes. In 2014, I did it in nine minutes. I shaved off 15 minutes. I got into that stairwell, Dr. Gale. I'm telling you, I was possessed. I thought, come on, Kath, you're an octogenarian. They all think you should be dying. Show them, prove to them that the body and the brain don't age. We do by our choices. I hit that stairwell. I soared. And on the way down, Judy saw me, and she thought I took an elevator down. To make a long story short... I did. I drove them crazy to make sure that the, the, uh, the time was right because the next day I called the timer and he said, what do you want me to tell you? You did it in nine minutes. Oh, it's wow. Here. There's That's our fantastic. Proof. Well, I'll tell book. you, we've got to, well, we don't have time for the book now, uh, Kathy, so oh. I'm going to tell them, yeah, I'm going to tell them to go to your website which is Kathy, C-A-T-H-I, Watson, W-A-T-S-O-N, speaks.com, or simplyages.net, mm-hmm. and look for her ebook Elixir of Youth, and find out a little bit about Kathy, and, you know, if you want to communicate with her, she'd love to hear from you. So um, I want to thank you so much for being with us, Kathy. It was really enlightening. And, uh, again, this is Dr. Gail Carson, thanking you for listening to Living Regret Free, the show that gives you the skills and Uh, techniques to achieve a regret-free life. Don't live a life of stress and negativity when you could be experiencing a life of joy, happiness, and reward. Our guests all have valuable tips to make your life a better one. Did you enjoy this week's show? Then join us next week for more exciting and informative guests on Living Regret-Free. I would love to hear from you as to the people you'd like on the show, questions you have for me, and you can email me at gale, G-A-Y-L-E, Carson13, at gmail.com, or go to my website, spunkyoldbroad.com.